Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. I am your host, Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, we are going to be conducting the review over the Chivas Regal, age 18 years, Mizunara cast finish, blended scotch whiskey. Comes inside of a 700 milliliter bottle at 43% ABV, product of Scotland. Now, I've conducted the review over the Chivas Regal, age 12 years, Mizunara cast finish, about two years ago, way back when I was living out in Osaka. And to my surprise, I liked that one very much. I thought that uh, the Scots had did a very good, a very good uh, emulation of Japanese whiskey, so to speak. This one right here, as you guys could tell, it's at the very tail end of the bottle. I got about one dram left inside of that thing, one pour left. And uh, this bottle cost maybe about a good 8,300 yen. Maybe with tax in, it could go anywhere up to about 8,800 Japanese yen, roughly. Rough estimate of the price. Let me uh, flip. Hold on. Let me flip in my book to see what I had to say about the Mizunata 12 Chivas Regal. Hardcover book, paperback book, available now on Amazon.com and other fine bookstores. Can get it on ebook as well. Have another copy here. Let me flip to this review. I think it's like the fifth one that I've conducted or the sixth. Yeah, there we go. Hope you guys can see that. Beautiful book. This is my uh, sixth one that I reviewed inside of 50 Japanese whiskeys. Let's see what I had to say about this one. This is about the 12 now, not the 18. In June 2018, I bought a bottle of this at Big Camera in Namba, Osaka, an electronic store of seven floors that carries everything. Yes, even alcohol. I bought the half-sized bottle in the case of if I had hated it, I wouldn't have spent a lot of money on it and then tried to figure out what to do with the rest. This isn't a Japanese whiskey per se. This is a Scottish whiskey from the world-renowned master blender Colin Scott, inspired by Japanese whiskeys. The, front, the bottle's front label says, It has been created especially for the discerning Japanese whiskey enthusiast. For this, carefully selected malt whiskey and grain whiskey are married and finish in rare Mizunara Japanese oak cask in Japan. A date can also be found on the front of the bottle. I believe it to be the date and time of bottling. I'm not sure if this is available outside of Japan for it only appears on the Japanese Chivas website. I wouldn't change anything about it as it is so well balanced and such a good attempt at making a Japanese style whiskey. You can tell it was meticulously prepared, and I highly recommend to fans of Japanese whiskey and space sides. With those Scots being the masters of whiskey, I'm not surprised at them pulling this off. And the tasting notes on the 12, I wrote, On the nose, sweet oranges, toffee, light vanilla detected after the first sip during the second nosing. On the palate, Gentle on the tongue, buttery and smooth, bright oranges, extremely light peat and smoke. The finish, smooth, extremely light smoke, memorable aftertaste. Comes from the Strathyla. And I, being blended, I, and I suppose other distilleries. Corkscrew cap. Pretty beautiful bottle. Yep, it's quite nice. Yeah, I think I've already mentioned this is 43% ABV, so not that strong. Okay. 
there's a date on the back of this label as well. It says 2019, September 25th, 216. I guess, I guess that was the time of bottling. Just like the previous one, there was a date written on the front of the label. But this time it's on the back. I like getting those little small tidbits of information. Just enough to conduct this review. I'm trying to get all that last final drip out of the bottle. It's dripping slowly. Mmm. All right. Almost about done there. I'll keep this one as a souvenir. Put some flowers in there or something. So, this is about how much I have left. Just enough to conduct this experiment this tasting swish it around a little bit not sure if i really need to blow that much it was already trapped inside of this bottle with so much air inside of it but not for long but it's been in there long enough starting to lose some aroma hmm I'm going to study this one for a bit and I'll get right back to you guys. All right, so if I was reaching deep, aside from the vanilla only smell that appears to be coming from this, if I was really reaching, you could almost say that there's some perhaps that's cinnamon. Very hard to detail. Won't know for sure until we taste it. So let's let's go ahead and have that sip. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. The palate, very fruity. When it's in the mouth, it's a uh, a green a green apples type of taste. It was smooth. The finish, a little bit buttery. Mm, hold on, I'm gonna have to have to go back in there and assess this some more. On the palate, in addition to the apples, uh, I would say that there is uh, an apricot type taste to it. And in the finish, very there's apricot inside of there as well. I may have mentioned that it was just very slightly spicy. It's just like a quick hit of spice. Yeah, definitely long lasting. Hmm. This is it. This is the end of it. Yeah, that finish. Very delicate spices. Chewable dark berries. Yeah, this is one that I can get behind. Unfortunately, the bad news is that I no longer have my Chivas Regal age eight. Uh, sorry, the the Chivas Regal age twelve years anymore. I had finished that off back in two thousand and eighteen, being just about uh, two and a half years later. All I have to recall that is just my notes inside of my book, but I don't have them. You understand what I'm saying for a side by side comparison to tell you which one is necessarily better than the other one. But I like this one. I like it a lot. And uh, I feel like if I wasn't at the end of the bottle, I would be getting a little bit more 
out of this, uh, maybe twofold of what I'm getting now. But even what I got just now, thus far, this has been very, a very pleasant experience. Let me check the age on this one again. So within about uh, within about a year's time, this bottle is come and gone. It's been finished. Hmm. Very nice. I think this one is also a product. It's a product of Scotland, but it is sold retail only in Japan. I'm not sure where else in the world you can get this at. Perhaps the UK. I mean, if you live in the UK and you're a whiskey hunter, please tell me if I'm wrong. Have you seen this there in your region of the world? Definitely not in the United States. Like this one that I've seen here, uh, the age 12 years. That was definitely a Japan only thing as I've only seen it on the Japanese website and in Japanese stores and when I'm going out on the internet trying to uh, research to see what other people have to say about it, I just, I came up with absolutely nothing. All in all, that's a great whiskey. Colin Scott, the master blender and just an all-around master of, uh, just a master of whiskey. He's done it again. I would say for the price, it's definitely worth 8,800 yen for an 18-year-old whiskey. I mean, you could be doing a lot worse. You could be spending a lot more for a lot less than this. And I would say if you did that, that would be highway robbery. And with this, you're getting exactly what you pay for. You, The money's going into... You're getting out of it what you put into it. Let's say it like that. Yep. This is a good one. All right, gentlemen, I thank you all for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. And as always, gentlemen, you know what to do. Keep it classy.